In my last big Red Bull video, Frames of Mind, I did a backflip onto a hitching post, which was a big log where I landed two-footed on the log. And ever since that moment, I've been thinking about how that trick can grow and develop and evolve because I was extremely stoked with it. Everyone who saw it was extremely, extremely pumped on it. But I remember thinking, when I leave that log, there's more air time to do more. I just jumped onto the pedals and landed in the landing. And it was around that time that I saw Ryan Williams, a pro scooter rider, front flip off of a quarter pipe into a resi landing and it was at that moment that i realized how complete this trick could be the back flip on could be followed by a front flip off and then there is no way you could add any more to a trick that's already mental that is done that's complete and you could literally draw a line under it and leave it alone forever i said i was never going to flip onto a hitching post again yet here i am coming up with more big stuff because these red bull projects it's hard to explain it really does give you an opportunity to like write your name in the sand and with that opportunity i want to do the absolute best i can do think outside the box and create world's first tricks not just add on to a slope style trick or like or just do another no hander inside something i can already do like really be creative build a course build a feature and create a trick so we're here today at corby skate park and i've brought this little object with me knock this up at 7 a.m in the garage this morning because to do a front flip off of a log when my bike was already up here. You've got to imagine when, when the bike comes out, it basically goes up above your head. I want to simulate the second half of this trick. It's, this is the new bit. It's the front flip. So I'm going to stand on this platform. And the reason I've cut out a gap is my back wheel would definitely hit something like this or something with a straight line when I'm swinging it down. Mountain bikes are big. So I'm thinking that this is going to be the perfect tool to help learn this trick. And I don't know what I'm going to accomplish today, but doing it into a foam pit will be a big help. And Corby Skate Park, have always been really supportive of my career and me training tricks and today is no different they've welcomed me in here for a private session to screw this frame into the floor and get creative so my goal today is just to understand this trick i want to be able to throw the bike out in front of me jump into a front flip i'm going to have to be looking for the pedals while trying to rotate while trying to stay straight get my feet on and land but i'm pretty sure from this height i'm not going to get all the way around today i'll probably i'll be happy today if i can land on my back so without further ado, I'm going to jump down there, scoop some foam up this end of the foam pit, make a bit of a landing, then we're going to get into it. <laughs> How are you grabbing them so quick? I'm wearing a gum shield for this one. Because I don't know. It feels higher than I thought. My other worry is that I haven't cut enough of this out. It might have been better just to do two separate footholds because this is a big bike and there's not loads of clearance like it hits easily so the position when i landed on the log i'd say the bike was probably about there see so look it hit didn't it mm. it's gonna be hectic you know what i might just do a couple without the bike yeah. Just figure out how much time I have from two meters, just so in my head I know. Yeah. With a 10 kilo bike at arm's length, that's going to be really tough. I'm just going to try it now. I think the back wheel's going to hit though. I'm really nervous. I don't even do front flips very often. I never do front flips. I just don't know how I'm going to land. I don't want to land on the bike. Lame. No, good bail though. True, I could have landed on my back on the bike. The wheel didn't hit, did it? No. Yes. Okay, well, that's what I was most scared of. So if that doesn't hit, I can give it more beans. I just want to be able to get my feet on the pedals and land on my back because we can always make the drop bigger. It's going to take so many goes. Thanks, mate. To think that I'm going to have to make this work with a split second after landing a trick that two years ago took nine hours of solid attempts. I started getting my feet towards yeah, the pedals. Yeah, I saw. No way near, but I was looking at the pedals the whole way. Yeah, you put them on your wheels, didn't you? Yeah. When I stood up there for the first time half an hour ago, I had massive regret of calling out this trick. It's amazing what just diving in head first, literally diving head first into something could do to your attitude. Ah.
Oh my Dude, god! That was really good, wasn't it? Oh my god, yeah. The feet were on the cranks on attempt number three. But it's so scary and so hard on my arms. I need to go to the gym a lot. <laughs> that is a splitting image of the position I get onto after the backflip on. Honestly, so if I can replicate that every time, up to that point, everything should should be in keeping with what I've done two years ago. Back wheel just misses. Feet were on. Stoked with that. Insane. With rotating, the smaller you make your total size, like the smaller your radius, the faster you spin. I agree with what you said though, Ben. A bigger drop gives more time. But on a trick, like that backflip one took me nine hours. Nine hours of falling three meters onto a solid landing. You might never get there, you know? I'd love to be able to do it from this height. Oh, mate, again. I split my pedals, but I rotated quick then. They're very consistent. My pedals are spinning. That's the closest one yet. The way you're catching it and everything is perfect, but you are consistently landing on your back wheel. I think I need to tuck up into a tighter ball. I think if we look at it in slow motion, it'll be obvious whether I could get tighter or not. The smaller I am, the faster I'll spin, but the more chance I hit my teeth on the handlebars. I think that's what's putting me off. I'm gonna just do it. I got, that's why I got a gun shield. Yes! Yes! Oh my God! Yes! Mate. That hurt. I jarred my back, but I actually don't like, I put everything into that one. That was a downward landing. I'd have had even more time to like pivot on the back wheel. Yeah. So there, that's perfect. Let's watch, let's watch what happens. I, I jumped like, I really jumped then, tried to jump up. Yes, feet are on the pedals. Mate, yes. Yes. I'm like 90 degrees away. I'm less than 90 degrees away from flat. Look. You see there? Yeah. Like that's 90, I'm there. So you think I tucked quicker? Yeah. Yeah, look. You're in a ball Jump. way quicker than the other ones. Already in a ball before I've even started dropping, which is the recipe for rotation. This might work. But to, honestly, to combine that with the backflip on, a trick that took so many goes, combining it with a trick that's gonna take so many goes, we're gonna need like a week for this. But look, imagine that's a hitching post, that's a landing. There's another takeoff back here. Flip backwards, bosh, flip forwards. That is completed, isn't it? I mean this in like the most humble way, but I'd love to just own that. Like I came up with the idea two years ago, I'd love to add to my own idea and then just put it out to the world again and hopefully blow some people's minds. We're at, I'd say that's the landing. So we're at 2.2 meters. I think another half would, or more. Go up to three. I think you literally only need another half. Yeah, I don't even need a lot. No. Let's go away, let's come back with better tools, better equipment, and let's land this front flip. I'm excited. Yeah, I think this is gonna happen. It will. Yeah, man. Oh my God. <laughs> All day we spent building this setup to try the gain a backflip, which is another video. What I've come to realise is it's actually a more perfect setup for the front flip feature you're watching. So, we've got to cut a notch out of the front like we did at Corby Skate Park into the foam pit. And we're upscaling this onto an airbag. So hopefully today I can ride away from the front flip element of this trick. So I was pretty, I was pretty depressed to not make it work for the gain a flip, but I'm pretty buzzing to get something out of today with this crazy contraption. Lucky we've got a pro mountain biker slash carpenter here. Okay. <laughs> That's an awful looking view down there. <laughs> to stand on to start your trick. Let's get the bike back up here then. You okay? Do you know? I just had to hold with my chin. <laughs> it's been a long hot day. It is 34 degrees. We're wet in the airbag. It's just like been proven that although you get soaked, 
it's such a it feels like a smaller impact there's like less friction that meets you and you land and you just fly off the end so if i'm going to be landing on my back which is most likely i'd rather do it onto a wet airbag than a sticky dry one it's fact it's true here we go you got it mate yeah. yeah. Woo! Oh. Yes! Yeah, yes, man. mate! That worked. Unreal. That was sick. I didn't know what to think because it all happened like, I mean, it literally happened in half a second. I bailed. It actually felt like I was rotating so much faster than I anticipated. But having so many sets of eyes here, like Sam's done fr front flips off of drops before on mountain bikes. So I'm like, I'm in good company. For, like Everyone G's you up for stuff. I've had it my whole career where someone's like you got this Matt but they don't actually know <laughs> but Sam knows so it's funny we keep filming this way and it's only a three meter drop look that way I hate it I think I could get close to this and I don't like to say but after all today's worry with the other trick and the other build I want to tick this box as soon as you get upside down you're not curled up as much anymore whereas yeah. the last ones at Corby where you're getting like your everything was tighter pedal, you were so tight yeah oh. Oh, better that was my best one but best isn't landed is it <laughs> I'm running on empty, honestly. The sun today has ruined me. You okay? Yeah. It's the following morning. I've got a little bit more energy, but I'm still I'm quite stiff actually from all the crashes yesterday. So hopefully this can work this morning. I kind of need it to work this morning. So no time like the present. One and done. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> That was good, mate. Was it? Yeah. Sweet. Pretty amazing wake up call, that. <laughs> Just on your back onto something that looks soft, but still you feel it. This ladder, honestly, we need to rethink. You need uh, another cherry picker. You need another cherry picker to serve this cherry picker. And while we're at it, you could film off of the third cherry picker. Cherry pickerception. <laughs> oh. That was a waste of energy. I threw the bike up too high above my head. And it just felt like it was up there for ages and started twisting. Jump later. Yeah, you got it, mate. Yes! Oh, you okay? Yeah. That spans so quick. It made a massive difference. Massive. So this is the fruit of the labour. Two identical platforms. I actually didn't anticipate making them this big. It's ended up way bigger than I hoped. Which isn't a bad thing, because with the airbag blown up like full size, the drop's not massive. You be careful up there, Ben. I'm being careful, mate. The whole structure still wobbles, but this is quite solid. So I'm gonna have a foot either side, but I've got a big opening down the middle so I can jump from back to front later, swing the bike. I don't have to worry about cliffing my back wheel. This is gonna be it. It's been about a month since I tried the last one, so I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> really have. Bike up. I really don't know what to do. Hang on. Bike goes up, comes down. Hook. That was fine, mate. Bike twisted. Oh, what a waste! Mm -hmm. ah. oh. Oh. Think you can 
change your address to the tower at Matt's compound. <laughs> I might, I'm a resident now, Spend mate. Spend so much more time here than anywhere. <laughs> right, mate. Oh, no! That was a decent first one. Well, it's still broken my back, though. Yeah, that was good. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! That one was way better. Yes! Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So sick. I've been trying to jump later to so wait for the bike to get further underneath me so that the bike's got less distance to go around. But I was when I snap for my body to do a front flip, I forget that the bike also needs like a force on it. So that time I really rolled my wrists and tried to bring the bike all the way around ahead of me as I did a front flip rather than just front flipping to meet it and then spinning as one. And I think that little extra snap at the start mm -hmm. showed itself at the end with like, what, another 30 degrees? Yeah. I know a lot of people watching are thinking if Matt just goes higher, he'll get round every go. Like, yeah, if you rode out the back of a AC-130 gunship, you could do 10 <laughs> fronties. But you start then getting to the point where if you do crash first go, there's no way you'll have a, a second attempt because you'll break your back. So I'm, I want it to work from this height. I, if that landing was dirt, I could accept that it's rock hard. Any higher, like even gain a height, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do a fronty. Try and do another one of them. Yeah. I've got a feeling I'm not going to be able to do it as good, but yeah, you will. hopefully. All right. Yes! 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 Dude! Let's make it three in a row. Get it. Too good to be true, probably, but. Oh! That was lucky. You okay? Yeah. Watch out! What the hell? Oh! What the is going on? The running backflip, the gainer, has been landed. Box ticked, I never have to do it ever again. And now we're moving on to the hitching post. So we've got a new tower that's been built. We've dropped it since the gainer. We've got the channel cut out the front, just like you've seen at my compound. Airbags there. The logs up top have been cut down a bit to a height that I think looks a bit better. And now we've moved the six foot kicker down here because a good way of riding this ramp for the first time is just to butt it up against the mini ramp and flip onto that. I was kind of up for backflipping onto the logs as they are, but if I miss them, it would be like curtains. It would be so bad. So I may as well practice with this, get the heights figured out, match it up there, land the front flip today. We can combine this trick. It comes out of my mouth so much easier that it's actually going to happen because what in reality will happen is I'll land. Oh, well, look at this bruise. I'm so sore from doing this wall ride thing up there. How bad's that? All around the front. Massive. Savage. No, I think I'm in a better place here than at my compound. Like the backflip on will work great here. I'll be able to land on my feet. Taking it up to the logs will be horrendous. But if the front flips in the back pocket, as soon as my feet land on those logs, I want to be flipping off. And I can even put an airbag on that landing. So I'm going to do it like really, really, really steadily and in like a safe way. But at some point, this has all got to be blended together and it's going to be epic. get the flip round and land on my feet but I'm traveling so far like I've got so much forward yeah. momentum that I would never be able to stop dead like I almost trip forwards so I need yeah. to go less far and ideally not higher but I'm gonna have to go higher spin on the spot and almost land like closer to that edge so we're making the ramp steeper really propping it up we might have to even cut the radius tighter but I, I forgot how difficult it was to make this happen last time and when this is isn't even half the trick Very nice. Success. Woo! Nice. Woo! That's way better. Yeah. Yes. Woo! 
Ooh. It's getting better. Yeah. We, knew we cut a way, 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 way tighter radius on the ramp. It's almost I'll vertical now. It means I don't have to flip so hard. It gives me more control to like keep straight. I'll take my feet off like almost earlier. And now we're going to draw a line on top. See where my feet land most goes. Then we can measure how far down we need to cut the logs and how far the gap from the kicker to the logs is and how flat the ramp is before the logs and how far from the logs to the landing <laughs> and how wide the logs are apart and how much we cut off the inside of the logs to give clearance for my back wheel and only then can I do 40% of the trick <laughs> just the backflip which I've actually done before so yeah it's true isn't it yeah. <laughs> we got time though mate <laughs> Oh, lovely. So I was stoked because I landed with my feet in the same place twice. But then that go, I was exactly in between those foot marks because Matt's drawing around my feet, which would have meant the right hand log went straight up between my legs. And I'd have been, like supported all my weight through a trunk there. You don't want that. No, that'll be last time, time ever. <laughs> George has measured the diameter of the logs and the width between them. So we're just marking where the tops of the logs will be. Scary. They're not going to be yellow though. I think. <laughs> I'll look at it, but then I'll look ahead at my bike. Yeah. So I'll have to. I'll glance. So we're like. Yeah. Okay. That'd be safe. Let's do another one with my eyes closed. Safe. It's irrelevant. I'm not doing a backflip. I'm just standing <laughs> next to it. <laughs> Yeah! I'm so sore. Can't even get excited. <laughs> See how much lower the logs are now? They're half the height of when I got here, which makes me a <laughs> No, it doesn't. It means I might actually get this trick. They were so <laughs> high. Kai's just right now cutting a log in half to, let, to rest on top. So it's going to be like frames of mine. I'm going to land on a rounded pair of logs rather than the upright. So they were too gnarly. Like when I was practicing onto the deck of the mini ramp, half the time I'd have got a log to the face or between the legs or to the armpit and makes it sick. But it also means the backflip could hinder me from ever doing the front flip. And I don't want that. I've done a backflip onto a log. But now I'm back on this and the gale force wins. <laughs> Number five of five in a row. Never rode one out back home. It's getting dark. I don't know if this is going to happen today, but like to do that, which is the key part of this, feels sick. I'm stoked. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, boy. On the log then. You it on the log, mate. Very nice. This is the line. We've got the line. <laughs> the speed indicator. Imagine a speedometer. <laughs> That's where he goes from. <laughs> Getting real now. Very, very, very safe and stunt man with the crash mats in the airbag, <laughs> but I'm over caring about being gnarly. That's the one! Yes! Yes, boy! Yes! yes. Get it! Nice. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That was a good one, though. <laughs> Yo! 
Yes, Matt. Matt, Joe. What are your feet looking like? I'd be doomed. Ooh. Yes, mate. Yes, boy. <laughs> That one and one other, we've probably done about 80 today, are the only two where I was set up for the front flip, but my legs are so sore that I think if that becomes my baseline for tomorrow, we'll be all set. So big confidence boost. Not allowed wet feet. No wet feet for that. This is how we do it. Update. This has been the most behind the scenes video I've ever made because it's completely been behind the scenes. I'm like so, I'm so in the zone with all these tricks that Ben just stands and films. And you probably feel like I haven't explained anything throughout the way. I'm just getting closer towards a trick and landing it or crashing. I never really come and speak to the camera. I just want to land stuff. And the hitching posts have got the better of me completely. Ben's been here all day. I've probably done 50 or 60 flips onto the logs went for two front flips which was an absolute glimmer of hope and it like if you watch it i'm sure you agree that that trick is on it's going to happen but i've absolutely reached my complete limit physically my legs hurt my back hurt so i've done 150 goes in a couple of days and it's not happened and i didn't think this trick was going to be this hard i don't think anyone here thought it was going to be this hard i was supposed to be home two days ago we only filmed half an edit so i'm going away now we're probably gonna get back to making normal YouTube videos. Won't even address the fact that this is going on. This bike won't get seen, this course won't get seen, but I'm gonna come back and land it because the gainer flip, you've watched that by now, is insane, it's sick, but it's that back flip to front flip that I think is gonna be the highlight trick of this video. So, and without that, there isn't a video. So this behind the scenes video goes on. Whoa, my bike 
went oh wild. Oh my god. Yes! Yeah, boy! Yes, boy! Sent it, though! Yeah! Oh. No! No! This was supposed to be the answer to my prayers, building a replica setup at my compound where I can come every day and do the trick. There's the ramp, the same radius, the same dimensions and everything, the same gap to the logs as Devon. I've made it safer, I've filled in all the gap in the middle so I can't fall down there. George came and built this and I built a roll in to go with it. However, we're now three, honestly it's over three weeks since I was in Devon. It's rained every day. There's been three days of like good weather window where I've managed to use this and I haven't actually pulled one yet and I'm going back to Devon tomorrow. I know it's possible, I got close enough before, I thought I'd be in a more confident position using this, but I'm just gonna have to think about the fact that it's doable. It is doable, it's just gonna be a lot of goes. So I'm kind of gutted to be going back down actually. I'm excited to get it done, but the process has been insane. Like months for one, it's gonna be a two second clip, but right now I've just broken my pride by standing in the rain for three weeks. At my compound. Can't wait to get back here and set fire to this. But I want to land this trick. <laughs> I'm gonna land this trick. I'll see you back down in Devon. It's gonna happen.